Welcome to Dan ARG YouTube. Kola Edokbayi said the Edo State Governor, Godwin Obaseki, refused to appoint eight judge with National Judicial Council recommend for him. He said this is a big threat to democracy. Make I leave you, make you hear from Kola Edokbayi. My name remains Mrs. Kola Edokbayi. I want to adumbrate ex-cathedra on the refusal of the governor of Edo State, Governor Godinoba Seki, to appoint and swear in eight judges of Edo State judiciary, specifically High Court, upon the recommendation of the National Judicial Council, NJC. By virtue of Section 271, Subsection 2 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as amended, the person appointed into the office of the judge of Edo State Judiciary shall be made by the governor acting on the recommendation of the National Judicial Council. Take note, the appointment shall be made by the governor acting on the recommendation of the National Judicial Council. The National Judicial Council in its constitutional wisdom recommended eight judges to be appointed and swear in by the executive governor of Edo State, Governor Godwin Obaseki. The date we are here to ascertain the rationale behind the failure of the governor to discharge its responsibility in line with Section 271, Subsection 2 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In the case of Attorney General Abia State, against Attorney General Federation Nikki Toby JSC as it then was stated that the constitution is the first set or ego of the law not only of jurisprudence but of legal system in Greek language it is the Alpha and Omega of the law, the barometer with which other laws are measured, are measured. This is to, to demystify the supremacy of the Constitution. Section 1, Section 1 of the 1999 Constitution talks about the supremacy of the constitution that the, the constitution is supreme and its provision shall be binding on all persons and authorities section one section three of the 1999 constitution states that any law that is inconsistent with the provision of the constitution that law shall be non avoid to the extent of its inconsistency. Today we don't know the reason why the governor of Edo State has decided to embark upon a voyage 
of the abuse of the Constitution. The political system in a democratic system of government, we have three organs of government. The executive, arm of government are the child with the responsibility of implementing the law, the legislature that makes the law. Well, we have judiciary that interprets the law. The appointment of a judge is by the governor upon the recommendation of the National Judicial Council, NJC. We don't know the, 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 the egocentric interest of the governor that made him not to, 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 to swear in or to appoint and swear in a judges of Edo State High Court hereby creating a lacuna in the judiciary. This is an aberration. This is monstrous. This is ferocious. This is absolutely antithetical to the rule of law, which is the constitutional doctrine, and to democracy. I don't know why the Nigeria Bar Association Mini Branch has refused to make statement in condemnation of the unconstitutional act of the governor. The lion, the Benin branch used to be the lion bar that roars. But today we don't know the reason why the Nigeria Bar Association has decided of its own volition to maintain the silence in this constitutional aberration exhibited by the executive governor of Edo State. We want to read this medium to appeal to the Nigeria Bar Association Bini branch to roar as far as this issue is concerned. The governor of Edo State should listen to the voice of reason and appoint a swaying the eight judges recommended by the National Judicial Council in the interest of justice, in the interest of equity, in the interest of good conscience, and in the interest of the rule of law. We cannot continue like this. We cannot continue with this kind of undemocratic situation. We cannot continue to stomach this act of despotism, this act of totalitarianism, this act of fascism that is presently conspicuous in a new state. The governor should do the needful if he wants to finish well. If he can't appoint and swaying the chief judge the, the, the chief judge as a substantive chief judge of a state judiciary he can also sway in the eight judges recommended by the national judicial council all hands must be on deck to ensure that democracy, rule of law, prevails over every forces of undemocratic philosophy presently conspicuous in Edo State. Thank you. Now we don't hear from Kola Edokbayi, 
Let us know what you think for this matter. Go to comment section. Make you put your own. If you never subscribe to Dan ARG YouTube, try make you subscribe so that make you for the hear all the things where they happen for Nigeria. Make I leave you with this video. Make you help us share. Thank you for watching Dan ARG YouTube.